Genoa is uh, where I live, and Genoa is a town of about 5,000 people. There are a couple outlying farming communities, but all very small. My direct market is really about 7,000 people or so. My name is Katie Aridas, and I'm the owner of Your Graphics. About five or six years ago, one of my neighbors who does screen printing had said, uh, Katie, you need to come to one of these trade shows and see this really cool equipment that's out. I think it would really interest you. Um, and he knew that I was looking for a new business venture that I could do from home. My husband and I have a large restaurant and I needed some flexibility to be able to help him at the restaurant if need be. I wanted to be available in the summers. I went to one of the Chicago trade shows and started looking at the DTG equipment and uh, sure enough it was something that, that really caught my eye so I spent some time doing research and narrowed it down to a couple brands and eventually settled on uh, Anajet. So I've been running my MP5 i now for not quite four years. I actually started printing out of a small like 10 by 10 bedroom, um, but then as I started growing my business, I, I expanded and built this print layer in my basement. The first year that I was in business actually went, uh, went very well for me. Before I actually had my printer in my home, I had an order for 100 shirts. And so my very first order was over $1,500, which was really exciting for me. Um, and then it's gradually built from there. I found a couple really unique products that have sold well and made me a lot of money. I do a lot of wood printing that Christmas season will generate four or $5,000 over the course of just two, three weeks. I had looked at quite a few different makes and models of printers that were out there. Uh, some of the companies were newer to the industry and that was a bit of a detractor. I wanted a company who had been in the industry a while because that means that they've tested things, they've uh, gone through the troubleshooting process, they know where problems are and how to fix them. Then I started looking at some things like head clearance. I knew that I wanted to print some different materials other than t-shirts, so I wanted some flexibility with that and the cost of consumables. And I thought the ink prices were significantly lower um, as cost per print than some of the other brands that were out there. Um, and then finally, the industrial print heads were a big selling point. A lot of the printers have the same plastic print heads, but having the stainless steel components um, and the fact that you have three print heads in the MP5 just increased speed. So I knew that this would be a good printer to start with, but if I started generating high volume, I would still be able to stick with my workload and, and accomplish that all with one machine. Having the direct garment printer has allowed me to make other purchases. I bought a 54 inch vinyl cutter, and then this is my 48 inch um, vinyl printer. I do a lot of banner printing for the city. You can see um, some of the things I was working on. I have a big fat head and uh, a door graphic right there for the local chamber of commerce. You know, and all of that started with just this one purchase and using those funds to gradually increase a little over time. Um, and I feel that all of those kind of decoration businesses feed into each other very well. So I can use my customers from the t-shirt printing to sell banners. And then I might have somebody that orders stickers and I throw in a free t-shirt and uh, you know generate a couple hundred shirt order based off of that. So they all complement each other very well. I've been really happy with the, with the machine and, and the quality that I'm getting out of it. Since the Rico takeover of Anajet, I did send my printer in for some of the upgrades and a refurb. I mean, my printer's almost four years old, so it was, it was time for upgrades anyway. I really like some of the changes that they've made as far as the new ink lines. Seen some definite improvements there. Uh, the new maintenance station that they put in, I feel like that's been uh, maintaining the printer um, as a whole very well. It's made environment control a lot easier for me. So far, the tech support and any of the customer service that I've been getting has been exactly the same or, or better. So I think the Rico buyout has is, is actually been a, a huge benefit to the company and it's just gonna make it stronger in the long run. Thanks again for coming out and taking a look at my business. I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, learned a little bit about some of the options at doing DTG printing at home. If you want to check out uh, me or my business, my Facebook page is facebook.com slash print your graphics. Thanks again.